Rolling in my six foot. What everybody's saying. What's up, y'all? It's Marcus. Today I want to do something different and take you behind the scenes of a video shoot that I did. Mother on the video. Today I want to do something different and take you behind the scenes of a photo shoot that I did with my homie Six Four and Paula and my friend Raven, a model. So let's get into it. So let's go behind the scenes here and I'm gonna give you some footage and then I'll show you why I frame shots the way I did and certain ideas I had. I'm using the Nikon Z6, Nikon Z7, Sigma Art 35 1.4, and the 85 1.4 G from Nikon on this shoot today. Every shot's gonna be edited using my Sunkiss presets and in my pack at ProphotoEdits.com. So we did this whole shooting like an hour. We had a time crunch because my buddy, um, he left me the car and it wouldn't start. So we had to jump it, jump it, and push it over here to Cobb Lumber. But uh, it was a cool location. And as you'll see, this is just gonna be all GoPro footage. My ninja was broken. So a lot of times I just experiment when the sun's high and it's not great. Like get upside down, do some crazy stuff on the hood. But um, while we were waiting for the sun to get low, we did get one cool shot up on the hood. So here's the light I was waiting for. Heavy, heavy backlight coming through all that glass on that Impala. And I want to get a couple shots with the doors opened up and just show how beautiful it could be. So I always like to get creative, and I've always wanted to do a shot with the model laying ahead on the windowsill of an old car, so we had that shot today. And I tried this with the 50 and it just didn't look right, so I shot it with the 85 1.4 and I liked it a lot. So the insides of these cars are so huge, I just wanted to get some open area spaces with the 35 and shoot through the window and have a little bit of fun. So we used absolutely no reflectors on this shoot and before we wrapped up I just wanted to get a couple quick shots, simple portraits with the 85 and then call it a day. Alright so this hop into Lightroom and have a look at some of these files and then I'll show you what I did um, using the presets on most of all these. And that's the thing I love about the Nikon cameras that Canon just isn't there yet on is the, um, the dynamic range. So check this out. I of course shot this off balance because we were in there and I had the 35 and I was leaned up against the console. So here's your magic straight out of camera sideways and up against the wall. But um, no, nah, uh, just being serious here this look and see I used um, Sunkiss preset 2 on here just to pull more colors out and then um, brought up the exposure of course and I like to shoot underexposed when I'm on uh, Nikon just because it retains so much more than it does on Canon and then I pulled the, bl the black up a little bit and all I did was go there and um, get me out of the, uh, the ship getting kind of seasick taking photos sideways but um, check it out isn't that crazy? The dynamic range is there, the color is there, the presets look amazing. Um, it's just awesome. Only thing that I might uh, do is add just a little bit of grain to it. And um, bam, there you go. Before and after, seasick and underexposed, which is the way I like to shoot. I do that on purpose. Not the seasick part, but the underexposed part. So I shot this underexposed, obviously, but um, the light was getting a little lower. And I do this on purpose. It's not by mistake because once you blow the highlights, they're blown. And the darkest part is going to be here on her face, which I just shoot natural light that happens, and I like to do that. So I'm going to grab Sunkiss preset number two. Um, go ahead and pull the exposure up. Pull the highlights down a little bit. Blacks up just a touch. Highlights down a little bit more. And uh, another cool thing that you can do um, that I like to do sometimes is grab a brush and set it down here and just bring the exposure down by like it would just say 92 paint over the whole entire photo right and then hold um, out on the keyboard and I'll give you your eraser tool and you can just erase off of where you don't want it and then if it's too dark around the edges and that gives you like a vignette effect but it lets you dial it in exactly where you want it before after the dynamic range on here is just stellar. 
So here's another shot with a 35 art and uh, you can see I'm getting a lot of reflections here on the glass. I'm shooting through the glass on the back there and um, go to Sunkiss preset 2. Warm it up a touch. I bring the shadows up a bit more. The blacks up a touch more and the overall exposure down just a little bit. Um, and then I'll do my trick again. Go all over the whole image. Erase it off her face. And there you go. So there I'm trying to get the car started. It broke down and nobody was there to help me out. I had to wait for Clippy to drive back and uh, pick me up. I was just sitting there in the car so nobody would steal it. And I took a shot of my buddy on his car and we wanted to do like a uh, Dr. Dre's The Chronic cover over again. So we got him doing it like that. It's Dr. Cliffy in The Chronic. All right, y'all. Now you guys know that I have a ton of gear, but the Z6 and Z7 have been staples in my photography setup. The color science is there, the dynamic range is there, there's no harsh highlight roll off like sometimes I get on the Sony stuff. Um, I have the new EOS R stuff and uh, the 1.2s from Canon and they're incredible. I just wish Nikon would upgrade their new lens lineup to 1.2s and just get the most out of these cameras. So please like and subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell because I have videos coming every week behind the scenes, gear reviews, cool stuff like that. Please go to ProphotoEdits.com or you can download my Lightroom presets and Photoshop actions and follow me on IG. Alright y'all, it's Marcus. I'm out. AKA Snapavelli. See you next week.